Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. First things first, what am I thinking about um about last year? Well where have all the comments where have all the um content gone from December last year? Well, let me explain. Last year, I was in hospital in November. If you don't know what I mean, it means that I... Well, I went to London. Um, I did a video for you um, making the video for Atlantic Travel GB Limited at Bolton. I've done the theory one which you'll be able to see on my channel. If you can go to the channel and see what I what happened was I started um feeling a bit exhausted on a Thursday, the day I came back. Remember the daylight part of the review, the, the part in the morning and the afternoon and evening. Well that was the Thursday. That was the day I came back from London. And saying that, what happened then was I was at home. I started... I had tea with mum and dad and all my family to say how I missed them. And then how this work was on Friday... The day after, yeah, now, fast forward to the Friday, we, well, my dad had to go to work um, to do a job at my nan's house. If you've seen that video, Dad's Beautiful Work at Nan's New House Part 1, you will see he's done quite good. But... He was there, I went to my auntie's, um, my nan was living there, I stayed that night, and then th this happened. Well, you, nothing could prepare me for what was about to happen. I had um, been sleeping, and my brother Leo was staying with me, and then... Basically, what had happened was I started getting a temperature. I started getting a fever back then. And what happened then, I sort of went to have a thingy, like a... Well, I started to... I needed the bathroom. But then I I had to do that twice. So I did that twice... And again, this this is what happened. Now, in in this point, what I was going to say, everything compares, because when I was when I was in bed and this happened, I felt okay. I woke up the third time and it was morning. My brother was going to football. He was going to his football team. But then, at that point, I was still sleeping. Usually when I'm there, I usually have breakfast. I usually talk about different things. I usually do whatever what happens. But that day, I just didn't feel like doing anything. I felt very horrible. Like, very bad. And I mean bad because because as i say it means that like when i was in bed i felt unwell my mum was doing my auntie's um, christmas tree at that time as you might have known on the the 10th of well, on the 9th of december it was near christmas so i basically was coming down to mum and dad the, 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 to mum mum asked me did I want to come down from the bed come downstairs I said yeah came down and then 
And then what happened was we had to go home. I was on the couch bed. I tried some McDonald's chicken nuggets. So, yeah, that's what happened that day. Fast forward to the 10th of December. Basically, what had happened was I was in my own room now. My very own room. And basically, I'd went to do um, a snuggle. To snuggle or cuddle my family. My dad and mum. I sat on my brother's bed, not knowing what to do, whether to tell mum and dad, I don't feel that good, whether to just leave it. And then what happened was, something happened that basically made me mum feel like it was time. And then at half past ten that morning, I went to hospital. And basically what had happened was they said that it was the flu. Now this first doctor can't fault any of them at that time. They helped me really well. This first doctor who I first ever saw that day said he thought it was tonsillitis. Now at that stage I really... Um, I really felt like it wasn't tonsillitis. My throat didn't hurt. Nothing really hurt. Everything just ached all over me. I was lying on the bed, as some people might think. And I was lying on the bed listening to him. The doctor did some blood tests. And then what happened then was I started um, sitting up. Now, when that happened, I basically knew what was coming. The doctor came back in and said I wasn't fit to go home. I had to stay in the hospital, but we didn't know how long for. That stage would have been more at the time, because when... When I sort of um, got told that, I just said, okay, okay, I um, had to accept that. The doctor's um, original plan of action was to do an IV, which they did. And then the IV basically made me feel a lot better, a whole lot better. And then, basically, what has happened was I went to have um, an ultrasound the next day. Now, the next day does begin at this point, whereas I wake up, have some some breakfast. Well, I was going to have some toast, but my dad had come with a mcdonald's breakfast i had that and basically what had happened then was they had to take me for some ultrasound scans now i haven't explained to you why i didn't what well, i needed the ultrasounds now silly me i was gonna say when the doctor diagnosed me with the flu he said also they checked me kidney functions and everything potassium levels and everything and then he said potassium and that were okay but the kidney functions were a bit high now this happened in 2021 i won't get all into that because it might sound a bit squeamish now Ultrasound scanning. That's where I was up to again. Now, that was on the Monday. That's um, Monday the 11th of December. And how that worked was I was going and um, having an ultrasound. 
the ultrasound showed or shown nothing. Nothing was wrong. Which is a good sign. But I don't know how kidney function could raise that. And then I went back to the ward. I had some dinner. Pizza and chips was the exact. And then at my um, bedtime, well, about 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, uh, there was a nurse who was there, really lovely, really nice, respectful. And she said, you're going to another ward, Harvey. Then... I went to the 4C ward, which is a medical ward. Everything's medical in hospital, if you know what I mean. But anyway, I went to that ward. The nurses were very nice on that ward too. There was even a chef. Yeah. I mean, the pizza and chips was for my dinner on the ward. Tea was mash and chicken with gravy. And then what had happened was then I was on the ward and basically what had happened was I got an audio book, The Blunders by David Walliams. That was the book that I had. Really good book. Anyway, by by that standard, I sort of um, went to um, have me finger pricks done all the time. They had to wake me up. And I, that, that's what I don't like about being in hospitals. Because I'm, I honestly get woken up a lot. I mean, they don't mean to. They have to do it. I accept that. But what I mean is I'm not really into it. So then they did that. And the next morning, I sort of, well, I, for, I forgot to just stay the next morning. Um, 11th, 12th. Yes, I did. I stayed the next day, same dance, blood tests, blood pressure, OBS, blood pressure, tests, OBS, IV change, blood pressure, OBS, and IV change. And then all of a sudden, it was the morning of the 13th. And guess what? There was some good news. That all ended because I was fit to go home. So I went home. Basically what had happened was I sort of was so happy. I had happy tears even. I said to mum, oh, I'm so happy. And then my mum was with me saying it's okay and all of that. Now, anything that I forgot, yes, there was. In, on the ultrasound day, the day of the ultrasound, I had to sort of have a new cannula put in. The first cannula the night before the night I was admitted was hurting my hand. At that stage, they, they replaced the cannula after the ultrasound. Then what had happened was I sort of went back to the ward. Um, with me, I'll let you into a secret. And... I'm not easy with veins. Yes, 
I'm not easy with veins. When when that happened, they had to use a vein finding machine, which is quite clever for me. Then they put the cannula in my left was it right hand? No, right hand. Uh, um, uh, le left left le left hand. So once they've done that, that was really good. Okay then. So that was why I didn't film in December. That was I did do the Christmas and early New Year um thing, but nothing from that. But thank you ever so much. I mean, do you know what? I should be more like if I go on a trip with school. If I go on a trip, I'll make sure I can drink. Um, if I go on a trip with anyone, I'm going to make sure that I can drink a lot. But thank you very much.